What is going on YouTube? Today, I have a little bit of a different video to show you guys. Today, what came in the mail, which I'm very, very, very excited about getting, is this. Which, if you guys don't know what this is, it looks like a regular controller at first. But it's actually, if I can zoom in here, a Cinch Gaming Controller. Focus, 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 maybe? No? Alright. But, if you guys don't know what Cinch Gaming Controllers are, they're basically custom controllers that you order off a, comp a company called Cinch Gaming. What they are essentially is tournament controllers that make you better at Call of Duty, whether you're a pro or casual player. Now, a lot of people have heard about Scuff Gaming, which Scuff Gaming is one of the best well-known tournament controllers, but a lot of people don't know about Cinch Gaming, which is a cheaper, more reliable system in my sense. So I actually have a little story about this. I ordered a Scuff Gaming controller about two years ago, and through the process, the money was confirmed and everything. They canceled my order, and we got into a big uh, argument with them and everything, and I still haven't gotten my money back or my controller yet. So I decided, you know what, I got sponsored by Cinch Gaming as an affiliate sponsorship, which means we have a code and you guys can use this code and I get points and I can use said points to get things. So, which if I do get 15 points, I do get a free controller, which guys, if you help me get to 15 points, I'm going to give back to you guys by having a low competition here on my YouTube channel so you guys can have a chance to win one of these. Now, why do you want one of these? First, one of the biggest reasons for any Call of Duty player is you always want to improve and be better than the competition. One of the things this controller helps you with is one of my personal favorites is trigger stops. See, here, I'm going to show you guys my old controller, which was this, which I bought the Xbox One with the uh, Advanced Warfare. So, and one of the biggest things about trigger stops is usually when you grip a controller and you press to aim and shoot, you shoot and you have to press the whole trigger all the way. Let me see if I can get that on camera. See, you press the trigger and it goes the whole way. Cool thing about this, the Sense controller, is as these little buttons or screwy looking things like that, and when you press it, it only presses halfway. So you're able to press it and go faster and faster. It helps you with your trigger finger and you're able to zoom in more. Another thing you guys may have seen is the back of the controller. The back end of the controller actually got cinch grip, or was it pro grip? I can't remember. They have cinch grip and pro grip. I think I might get them the pro grip. And with a regular controller, you have a regular plastic background, which you, you can slide off pretty easy, as you can see. With this controller, however, you have more of a sticky, firm background, which is a little bit harder to slip off. So, um, if you guys have sway hands, or if you play in a hot room, or if you play for an extended period of time, your hands may start to develop some sweat, and so it's easy to lose grip of the controller, and I've known a lot of people that break the controllers this way. Another good thing about Sage controller, actually speaking of which, is the durability is really well. They're built very, 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 very well. Another thing, another big reason people buy cinches and scuffs is for something that helps out. Typically, when you play a Call of Duty game and you want a drop shot or jump shot, which is which helps you tremendously in a gunfight, you either press A or B, which they, I don't have the A or B loadout on here. You actually do on here. This, old, this is my old controller. You have the A and the B. See? And with those, that was the only way. You had to move your thumb from the joystick that makes you move and helps you aim and everything to press that. With a Cinch Gaming Controller, the difference with cinch, the biggest difference between a cinch controller and a scuff controller, scuff controllers actually have paddles which are located on those. Cinch has buttons, which you can customize the buttons however you want. PS4, I think, has remappable buttons. If you guys are into PS4, I don't know if you guys can see that very well. My camera's not focusing very well for some reason. But yeah, they have buttons with this button right here is going to be my jump because in Black Ops 3 the game coming up I've noticed a lot that jumping is a lot more power, a lot more effective than drop shotting and this button on the other side is going to be my drop my B so this is going to be A this is going to be B and that way when I'm playing I don't have to move my thumb from A to B like that I can just press a button it actually feels very very natural guys and it feels like I can actually do it I was really really worried about the placement of the buttons but they came out perfect 
since gaming really really come through i cannot wait to use this controller as video too i'm going to show you guys my first game with this controller so don't judge me if it's not that good of gameplay to get used to the controller so definitely if you guys have a chance to um pick yourselves up a cinch gaming controller there the one i got was um $170, would you guys look at scuff? They're usually ranging from $200 to $300. So another thing, guys, if you do buy a controller, definitely use our code as a Project Gaming. It's P-R-O-J-3-C-T-G-A-M-I-N-G, one word. I'll put it in the description. I'll probably put it into this video somewhere. So, But without further ado, I'm about to show you guys my first game with this controller. Stay tuned. What is going on, YouTube? I'm Project Shadow, and today we're jumping right into a game with the new cinch gaming controller that we got today can't really really you couldn't really see it there but you saw it earlier in this video because this lighting in this room is a little bit ooh. <laughs> i'm telling you and i'm still getting kind of used to this controller because the biggest thing in this controller is the fact that you're fighting against muscle memory here boys we're using trying to use Two buttons that we usually use on our A and B that the buttons are in the back now, so this is definitely gonna be interesting. Oof, boys. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. That was a stupid unnecessary drop shot, but we got a cinch now, so we're uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Actually this is just a bad position to be in, period. We need to get out of here! Get out! Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. We need to go, 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 go. But yeah, we're playing some Detroit Team Deathmatch, trying to get some nasty kills up in here, so we'll see what we can do. Oh, I thought I heard somebody with a silenced weapon over here. Yeah, he's in the parking garage. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I wonder if he saw me. Uh, he did. He dipped. Nope. Wait, did he? He's just outside. Yep, there he is. Ooh, he thinks he can jump too. I wonder if he has a cinch. Oh my goodness. Where this guy's at? Uh-oh. Get the fuck out of here. What a bloodthirsty boys. Uh-oh. Try to test out the drop shot now. No! Oh, it's muscle memory. <laughs> Shit, is turned. My biggest problem right now is trying to freaking hold on to my... It's like, I can hold on to the... Uh, left trigger while I'm shooting and everything. I can shoot and like that. That's a perfect drop shot. I just need to do that more in stressful situations. It would help me out so much. But I always panic and let go of the freaking shooting button. Whoa, that was nice. But I always panic and let go of the the LT button. Now I always end up hip firing. I, I have to realize now I don't have to. I can just hang on and keep on aiming down my sights while I'm so one of my biggest things is just trying to figure out how to really get used to this. And if you guys do buy this, don't expect to really, really, really go really good with it at first. Because you're fighting against your muscle memory here, boys. And it's a bitch. Boys, the drop shot's real. I don't know. <laughs> it's my first game on. I'm doing pretty well with it so far, so. When it comes down to it, though, um, I can't really tell when it comes to... Uh, your trigger finger, I typically don't have a very good one, so with this, however, with the cinch, ooh, shit. Oh, man. I don't think we are going to do good in that position with no controller there. But, um, I'll definitely try and test out. I'm going to plug in my old controller and my new controller and try to test out which one feels better. This is just a bad position. Um... And definitely test if the trigger finger really makes a difference with the trigger stops. I've heard it does. It should. But we'll see. We'll test out for ourselves, boys. How about that? Ooh, shit. We need to get out of here and try to get some kill streaks for you guys. At least get our bombing run, boys. So, we are 11 and 2 right now. So, we're doing pretty well. Got a couple nasty. That wasn't such a good trick. Drop shot. Trick shot. <laughs> Sure. I'm trick shot in here, boys. With the MP40. Ooh, shit. Come on, come at me, come at me. One of my, one of, I think one of my biggest habits, too, is I tend to press both the buttons at the same time. This is not good, either. Where's this guy at? Where's this guy going? Ooh, boys. 
He has a shotgun! No! Get away from me! No! Oh man, that shotgun is deadly. 14 and 3. We need to pick it up here, boys. We're dying too much. We need to get some kill streaks going. Ooh, that was a very early drop shot in my Ooh shit! Ooh ah uh, ah. Uh. Ooh ah uh, 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 uh. Where's he going? Where are these kids going? Where are they at? Where do they go? Where are you going, Cotton Eye Joe? Oh shit. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. This could get sketchy. Where are these kids going? This kid is a care package. I have a care package for you. Sir, and it is my gun. Enjoy. Ooh, got that drop shot. You didn't even see me coming, boy. Uh oh, I heard you. I can hear you. Ooh, that wasn't a drop shot. I didn't have room to drop shot there. All right, we got our UAV on a five kill streak. Someone has their Warbird. We're only about 11 kills off the end of the game. Hopefully, we can get a good kill streak going. We're about a little over one kill off of our kill streak. So, oh, I don't like how this game went so fast. I want to get my bombing run. Oh, here it is. Challenge me. Uh, we're not going to be able to use our Warbird very much, even if we do get it, which I don't think we will, because we struggled in the beginning of this game. So. Oh, well. Oh, well. Our bombing run didn't even get anyone. GG. GG bombing run. Someone has a recon drone. What a weirdo. Oh, we have final kill <laughs> against the recon drone. Drone. Wow, I can't talk. But yeah. 21 and 3, not too bad. I feel like we could have done a lot better, but like I said, this gun, this controller, you're definitely going to have to get used to when you first start using it. So I'll definitely get used to it, and hopefully I'll get really, I'll get a lot better with it, and we'll be able to perform more jump shots and drop shots a little bit better. So, but yeah, if you guys have a chance to definitely pick it up, it's gun. It's, I keep on saying this gun. Wow. But this uh, controller is really, really cool. I love the color. You guys gotta know purple is my favorite. Wow, that is really the okay. Yeah, I can't really show you because the lighting and everything, it's sunny outside still. But um the controller is really, really pretty. I love the way it looks and just the I, I don't know, like I might just be fanboying or something, but yeah. Definitely pick one up if you guys can. And yeah. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure, if you can, just try and pick one of these bad boys up and just... There's such a good controller. I really, really, really love using it. It's so much fun. It's so... It's going to help you game and it's going to help you become better at Call of Duty. And be sure, guys, if you do, like I said before in the beginning of this video, if you guys do end up picking one up, be sure to use our code Project Gaming. I'll put in the link. I'll put a link to the actual website of the Cinch Gaming of Cinch Gaming in the description. I'll also put down our code in the description. So definitely, guys, if you get a chance, check it out. Use our code, get five percent off your purchase, and yeah, I'll be all good. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to smack that like button if you did, and peace.